Yeah, about his patrol. He went out on combat patrol. And uh, it turns out that the trooper right beside him got, got shot. And so he took care of him. In fact, I believe that it saved the trooper's life. Really? Captain Axrod being there. And uh, he got him back to uh, the aid station and gave him uh, plasma and uh, got him in good shape for evacuation. And shortly after that, Captain Axelrod disappeared. And it turns out that uh, Major Thomas, the regimental surgeon, found out about it. And in Major Thomas's words, he said, I fired him. Because it was not his job to go on combat patrols. Yeah. Wow. Do you know where he ended up then? or? I have no idea. We never saw him again. Wow. In fact, I, I never saw the... Uh, the uh, assistant battalion uh, surgeon again, either. I had weeks. Because he, uh, he was a Florida country doctor. And uh, he wasn't very well cut out for combat mm -hmm. either. Um, you remember any of the guys you were close to, what their names were? Well, I. That was, it. of course, Rudder. I keep mentioning him, Eberron P. Rudder. He was from Chicago. Uh, there's one from Texas. Uh, Lim Morgan. He was the uh, Buck Sergeant. And that was. Uh, We got from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Reinhardt. Now that was a character. <laughs> Were you recording this? Yeah, I can turn it off. Uh, one about Reinhardt. We had this, one of the guys had this motorcycle. At motorcycle he made from two wrecked ones, two wrecked British motorcycles there. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> Reinhardt and I decided we wanted to go into Nijmegen one night from the com you know, from the front lines. So we got on this motorcycle and went to the front lines and it was rainy, misty, dark. And uh, after Getting tired of hearing Hold That Tiger, which was the favorite song that they were playing at the mm -hmm. time. We came, we started back on the motorcycle. And it was on this uh, unpaved, newly filled highway that the Germans had, uh, had built. It was under construction. And it had these uh, steel posts that you drive on the side, you know, mm -hmm. reference posts. And here we were in pitch dark, misty rain, and here he was driving me on the back. And my leg caught one of those poles, and it flipped me off the motorcycle. And I went, I don't know how many times I flipped or anything else. All I know is that on the side of the, side of the, uh, <coughs> the field, you know, the embankment, I landed with my head forward. And the blow took most, just my shoulders and my back. And here I was stuck in this mud, <laughs> flipping my legs, trying to <laughs> right myself. And Ron's, and Ron Hart was saying, Coach, are you hurt? <laughs> and I couldn't answer him. <laughs> and finally I got myself loose from the mud, told him I was okay. So we went on that way. <laughs> Where was, was that after the war ended? Oh no, we were, that was front line. No, it wasn't Holland, really. In Holland, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>